Improvements in the formulation of emulsion floor polish, together with the latest burnishing techniques, now leave a much harder and more resistant polish film. As a result of this, the performance of Evans Vanadyne floor strippers are constantly being improved to quickly and efficiently remove the old polish build-up. Safety wear is very important. Evans Vanadyne would always recommend sensible footwear and the appropriate eye protection. Always sweep the floor to remove dust and debris. The operative must always read, understand and adhere to the safety information and dilution rates on the product label before using chemicals. Always take care when diluting stripper and dispense carefully to avoid splashing. Always add chemicals to water and not the other way around. Before applying any liquid to the floor, place wet floor signs where they will be seen. In the corners where the floor machine cannot reach, and occasionally by the skirting boards, it may be necessary to use an edging tool, or for small areas, the centre insert of the floor pad to manually strip this area of polish. Apply a generous amount of solution onto a manageable section of the floor. The first application should run parallel to the skirting board and then at right angles in a systematic figure of 8 motion. Apply enough solution to ensure that the floor stays wet. It may be necessary to apply further solutions. Leave the solution for 5 minutes to soften the old polish. Ensure that the stripping pad is firmly attached to the drive plate. There is a wide choice of floor pads available depending on application and even manufacturer. Never hang the power cable over your shoulder. Adjust the height of the floor machine to a safe, comfortable working height, generally waist high. When stripping floor polish, it is advisable to comply with good safe working practice and avoid standing on the wet solution. Scrub the section of floor that you have prepared with stripper. Overlap each pass of the machine and progress across the floor. Continue applying solution to further manageable sections of the floor and complete the stripping process. When all the old polish has been removed, the floor polish stripper solution or slurry should be removed by damp mopping, or ideally with a wet vacuum pickup. Take care not to step in the slurry. Wipe the skirting board with a damp cloth to remove any splashes caused by the stripping process. If using Easy Strip, and provided all the slurry has been removed, it is not necessary to rinse, but check the floor is pH neutral before applying polish. If using a standard floor polish stripper, such as Sure Strip, it will be necessary to damp mop and neutralise the floor. However, to save any issues later, it is always advisable to damp mop the floor with clean water. The floor will be slightly alkaline after using Sure Strip, so add approximately 15 milliliters of acetic acid or vinegar to 5 liters of clean warm water. Do not use extra vinegar thinking it will do a better job. It will only make the floor too acidic, which will affect the polish when applied later. When finished, wash and clean all equipment, including the floor pad. Wipe down the machine and cable. Ensure caps are secure on the chemical containers and return all items to the storeroom and finally lock the storeroom. Training support literature is available free of charge upon request. For more information on the full range of Evans Vanadyne products, please call or visit our website.